Okay. Greetings, bonjour, guten tag. This is Kerry Mucklow and an update on our human poppy. Uh, I am stood just underneath the 51 bus stop and I am on my way to the council offices to collect my poppy poncho. Follow me. All right. This is, this is council offices, isn't it? Enter through these doors. Hello, slugs, council worker I've not met before. Um, why did you wear, why are you wearing it like that? You look like a bad plastic bag from a cheap market. Can you, can I have a poncho please, sir? Certainly. This is what will basically happen on the day. That, a red one, please. Cut that bit out and then just jump to a bit where he gives me a red one. I think that was yellow. Yes, that's the one, thanks. All right. All right. I'm, putting, I'm putting most of the effort into this. You should be out recruiting people with me, mate. No, I do Yeah, you job. should. Yeah, you're coming with me now. Do I have to? Yes, you do. I'll give you a curly whirly if you do it. Do you have a Yes, come on. Why do I wear this? Come on. Please don't wind me up today because I'm going to actually punch you out in the face. Yeah, I hope so. Hurry up, chop, chop. Excuse me, excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me, gentlemen. We are, we are participating in a human poppy for our remembrance of the war. Would you possibly take part with doing a human poppy with us very quickly now. Anyone? Anyone here? Excuse me, sir. So if you could put these on. You put these on. In remembrance for the war. OK. Anyone else want to recreate a human poppy with us today? Councillor Joe Harris, is that your real name? It is indeed, yeah. Why are you so young? <laughs> They're government officials, so... Oh, they can't. Restrictions. Government officials, so they can't, which I think is just cop-out, to be honest. Would you two be interested in recreating a human puppy with us very yeah, quickly? Yeah, yeah, we are Oh, could it. you do it first now? Yeah. Amazing. It's very easy putting these on. You literally just open them up, flap them open like you'd be putting on a duvet cover. You put it behind your ears, like that. To frame your face. It'll frame your face, tuck it in. Right, everyone follow me. You're coming as well, don't you go anywhere. Can somebody block off the road for us? So this is how it will be recreated on the day. But there will be about 3,000 of us. Everyone come and hold hands. And kneel down. There'll be a black bit in the middle, which will be made up of about 500 people. That's it, basically. Are we staying here all day? Because yeah, that's that would work. That, yeah, that would be good. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah, we get happy with that. So if you're very much too lazy and haven't already signed up, you can wake up on Sunday morning, switch Sunday brunch on and think this is quite dull and just think, hey, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk down at 2 p.m. because that's when this starts and be part of a human poppy. So why are you not doing this? That's what I want to know. Exactly. I mean, if you're too lazy to get your ass to the uh, council Human offices, yeah, council officers. to get your free poncho, there'll be army soldiers on a day. Uh, Handing them out. And we've also got these lot there, so it should be a bit of a laugh. It'll be at 2 p.m., so... Have you got anything then. else better to report? Has there been a pet shop that's closed recently that you can... No. no? Or a plastic go. bag that's just suddenly flown into the road to report? No. So they'll be here. BBC. BBC. So what have you got to lose? Just show up. Even this truck is dressed as a poppy. Exactly. He's in the mood. He's got it going on. And, uh, and cut there. 
So hello everybody, Daisy here. We've had lots of fun this morning, but we want to remember why we are doing this. And it's to bring the community together to remember that 100 years ago, those people sacrificed so much for us. So we'll see you on Sunday to remember those that we've lost.